And let's bring in Newt Gingrich, Fox News contributor, uh, former Speaker of the House, and author of the upcoming book, Trump and the American Future. Hey, Newt, in a situation like this, you? with chaos in at least 41 states and countless cities, uh, I cannot see a scenario where the president does not speak in a national address tonight. Can you? Well, I think he should. I think uh, on the positive side, he should indicate that we support the right of peaceful protest, and he should indicate that uh, he's prepared to declare an emergency for the destruction. We should treat the destruction by these mobs as though it was a hurricane or an earthquake, and, they, and FEMA should step in, and we should help rebuild, whether it's Minneapolis or Atlanta or Washington or Los Angeles. Uh, people should not have to bear the brunt of government failing to protect them. But I also think the president should outline that this is a war against America. These are not riots in a traditional sense. You have a nationwide group, Antifa is part of it, but there are other elements involved. And the federal government should be engaged totally in terms of the FBI and other assets to find out who's paying for it, who's organizing it, how is it happening, uh, and frankly, to lock people up uh, for a very long time. Uh, we should also go back and look at all the video we have, because a lot of these people are, are caught on camera, uh, setting a police car on fire, defacing the Lincoln Memorial, setting fire to a church that dates back to 1816. You know, civilizations have to protect themselves. And I think we're in a crisis in our country where we've got to decide, is American civilization worth protecting? In which case, we have to do whatever it takes to put down the people who would destroy our country. Yeah, and you know, Newt, uh, the president uh, over the weekend, uh, what he did was he said that Democrats were not tough enough on violent protesters and vowed to designate Antifa a terrorist organization. And then we heard uh, Bill Barr come out. Uh, it, but at the same time, you've seen a number of uh, mainstream media pundits who have said uh, the president can't do that. The Department of Justice can't do that. But they've got to do something. Well, I mean, look, there, there are laws, and Andy McCarthy's written two really powerful columns about this as a former Justice Department lawyer who actually prosecuted terrorists. And he said, of course we can. Uh, there's a law going all the way back to 1807 that the federal government has an obligation to protect you. When that man was, was beaten to death in Dallas, the United States government failed in its duty to protect him. Uh, and I think when you look around the country, when you see a police station burned down, when you look at, at the kind of things they're doing uh, to the Lincoln Memorial, and I frankly don't understand uh, why the mall wasn't protected last night, uh, whether that means you bring in the American military or that you bring in the D.C. National Guard. But this nonsense of the mayor posturing and then losing total control of her city uh, is something that we shouldn't have to put up with. Uh, and I think Americans have to make a real decision here. I am totally for the right of peaceful demonstration within a framework. But when you establish a curfew and somebody breaks that curfew, they're no longer peacefully demonstrating. When somebody sets a police car on fire, they're not peacefully True. demonstrating. I, I, we have good friends who told us in their neighborhood in, in Minneapolis, their, their gas station was burned out, their post office was mm -hmm. burned out. This is a war against American civilization by it some is. really vicious people. Yeah, Newt, I believe the guy in Dallas, and I don't think he died. I think he was beaten really bad. But um, I want to talk about your op-ed. Mm -hmm. You wrote this op-ed, and it's, it's titled, Anger is Justified Over George Floyd's Killing. Rioting is not and should have been prevented. Do you think, I've heard many people say this is ruining a meaningful, pro, a meaningful protest, that none of this is for George Floyd. What do you think? Oh, no, no, this is, look, what happens is that there's a group of people, and they've done this over and over again, there are a group of people uh, Antifa is one of those, the most famous of the groups who want to destroy American civilization. And every excuse they get, they go out and they, they start fires, they do damage, uh, they try to cause violence. Uh, you know, when, when, when you see people who go down the street as they did in Atlanta and as they did in New York, and they break in every window and they loot uh, material, you're just looking at, at criminals and thieves who are using a political moment to posture. But what they're doing is they're stealing and destroying. And I think we need to recognize it. That's why I wrote the article the other day. I was appalled 
at the uh, 2 a.m. press conference in Minnesota, which ha happened to be 9 o'clock over the next morning here in, in uh, Rome once we happened to see it. And basically, they were saying that they hadn't mobilized enough forces and so forth. And my reaction, oh, yeah. and they have only have now, but my reaction at the time was there are 13,000 members of the Minnesota National Guard. If you have to, you mobilize all of them. I would have said the same thing for Washington yesterday. There's no reason to allow any person who wants to commit violence to be anywhere within a mile right. of the White House or a mile of the mall. Just close them down and say, no, we're, we're not going to allow these kind of people to have the, to go out here and cause damage. And, you know, it's amazing, Newt. I watched that, too. I happened to be up, and that mayor with, uh, who said, went out there totally unprepared. He also goes out of his way to think, says, yeah, it could be some left-wing groups, but it's a lot of white supremacist groups who have mixed in. I don't see any indication that they're white supremacist groups mixing in. This is an Antifa organization. It seems that the first time we really saw it in a major way was Occupy Wall Street. It's the same mindset. Real quick, your comment? Yeah. Well, yes, and they also were people who trashed Seattle years ago. And they, I mean, they made a habit of this. One of the things I hope that the president's designation as a terrorist group will do is let's open up the funding. Who's paying for these people? I, I was appalled that 13 of, of Joe Biden's staff were donating money to bail people out in Minneapolis. Frankly, I was also appalled that they were being bailed out. They should stay in jail till this is over. Of course. All right, uh, Newt Gingrich, we thank you very much. Read his op-ed at foxnews.com. Thank you.